right, coming up next, what could be a heavyweight title fight for the ages between Stipe Miocic and Daniel Cormier. For a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute roar. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Miocic is 37, Cormier is 41. Miocic weighed in at 240 pounds. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, presenting the challenger, Daniel D. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds, fighting out of Independence, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Steve UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, or win like mine at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go, round one. Stipe Miocic, Daniel Cormier. This is a fight we have seen before. A lot of fighters don't like rematches. matches. Your thoughts on what we might see here in this recent situation? Both fighters have been in rematches, and both have been successful. DC versus Rumble Johnson, Stipe versus Junior Dos Santos. But remember, Cormier also lost a rematch to John Jones. 
Sipe did not do that. He's undefeated in rematches. He has to take that same approach tonight if he's going to get his hands raised. Just misses there with the left. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Again. Back to the ball. The ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling is really the entertainment. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Clustering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Ground and pound strike there now. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, side control now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Able to land the single ground strike there. Gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle thing. If he would have drove into his opponent, maybe he would have secured the top position. So 39 total strikes have landed thus far for Daniel Cormier. Oh, effective strike there by the heavyweight Miacic. Final seconds here in round one. Oh! The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, round two now. Stipe Miacic. You ready? And Daniel Kuhn. Slips. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Awesome, nice boxing chops there from Daniel Cormier. We talked so much about the wrestling. Don't sleep on those hands. Yeah, but it's because of the wrestling that allows these guys, especially a guy like DC, to shorter, to manage distance, to manage space in the striking room. So we pull up the numbers here. 45 total strikes have now landed for you, DC. And unofficially landing with 56% accuracy against Stipe Miocic. Single collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they clinch once again. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Mia Chich. Split the guard beautifully there. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when to hold him, yep, absolutely. 
Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> he needs to try to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. A good, solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Oh, now he's in trouble. Grappling there. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day, but hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams. But to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time. And now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team.